Hey, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men and the topic for this video is negative self-talk traps. This is one of the core aspects of your breakup that can keep you locked and trapped in the breakup zone. It is this broken record that keeps going and chewing on what happened. And sometimes months or even years later, you are still talking about what your ex did about the breakup, about the frustration that you feel around the breakup episode or about the relationship that you had with her. And so what I encourage you to do is start becoming a witness to your thought processes, to your emotions. And realize that you have different frequencies that you can tune into. When you decide to open your mouth and talk to your friends about your relationship episode, you can start on very different levels. You can be extremely negative about it. Or you can be just neutral about it. Yeah, we broke up. Not a big deal. I'm moving on. I have a new girl in my life. Yeah, great. Yeah, it was a bit nasty, difficult divorce, but that's fine. You know, this is like non-charged not charge. Another one that would be really positive is like, this was a beautiful relationship that I had with this woman. And yes, you know, all relationships come to an end and we end it. I guess we finished the cycle of what we needed to do together. And now I'm moving on with my life. I'm dating again. I feel really in my power. I discovered lots of beauty and lots of beautiful things, lots of exciting things in this relationship with her. You know, we had wonderful times. I remember this time when we went to on holidays to this beach was so romantic and you know so this is much more positive right you are sending out a very positive vibe into the field and remembering the highlights of what you share very negative self-talk would be what the fuck is wrong with women they always end up cheating with you isn't that true man it's like every single woman i've been dating has been treating me like shit how is that even possible? I completely lost trust in marriage or in any form of relationships. I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. So you see, I mean, you have those three degrees, right? You can see them right now. So very negative, neutral, or very positive. And the thing is that what you want to say, you know, there is something that comes naturally out, which is the result of the emotions that you're in, right? You are impacted by the certain mindset or a certain set of beliefs or a certain emotional impressions inside of you, right? But what you can realize is that you can choose the frequency that you want to be in. One of them is recharged, really contracted, comes from a place of frustration and anger. Another one comes from a place of neutrality. Another one comes from a place of open heart and liberation, right? Sending positive vibes out there. And so depending on <clears throat> what kind of record you play, what kind of frequency or channel you tune into, you are going to be generating and activating and reinforcing these mindsets inside of you. You get more of what you focus on. So if you focus on the negative story, if you focus on your anger and frustration, this is what you are going to strengthen inside of you. And what's going to happen naturally if you keep on repeating this story through self-talk or through the conversation that you have with friends or with family or with co-workers, these are the stories that are going to stick in your mind. It means that, for instance, you might have an episode that is not really charged right? It's like, yeah, something happened. She didn't return a call. You know, something like that. Something simple that is apparently insignificant. Then you can chew on it. You can create a story around it. You can make babies with that story and then every, every, eventually it becomes a whole story. She didn't like me. She didn't love me. She, you know, and this creates a snowball effect. It creates a chain reaction. It's an upgrading of the fight internal fight and then what happens is that you see yourself years later still chewing on that story and so what are the thought patches that you want to have in your mind what are the stories that you want to remember about your life 
with that woman. This brightness, the light, the beauty, this the shadow, the guilt, the shame, the frustration, the bitterness. What is it that you want to remember? You are the architect of your mind. You are the designer of your thoughts. So sometimes there is, a, there is a sound or there is an emotion which is really loud in your system. And this is what you're going to pick up on. Okay. But sometimes you realize that you have the choice. Very often you will see, I'm actually tired of repeating that story. I'm actually tired of being negative self-talk. It's draining me. It's contracting me. I feel sick about it. I want to shift that self-talk. I want to be in a different vibration and frequency. And so the, you know, what I want to encourage you to do in this video, it is to realize that you have a choice. That the thought patterns that you have in your mind, the stories that you tell yourself about that specific woman, about relationships in, in general, about women in general, is a choice. It is your choice. That's what I want you to remember. It is your choice. And so if it is your choice, what are you going to choose? Choose wisely. Of course, I encourage you to be at least in a place of neutrality or in a place of positive energy, because those are beautiful stories and beautiful images that you want to have in your mind. And you don't have to force yourself into positiveness. You know, you don't have to force yourself into being like, yeah, I'm great. No, no, it was not a big deal. You know, and deep inside you are burning with rage and anger. I'm not telling you to deny those emotions. You can face them, you can practice them, you can play with them for a while, but don't get attached to them. This is not just your identity. This is just a passing emotional wave in your system. If you get attached to it and you anchor that stronger and stronger in your system, this is what is going to be cultivated inside of you and eventually you end up like a very bitter man. <laughs> that no woman wants to date and so yeah discover that discover the play of the in and out flow of these emotional uh, states and feelings I'll see you soon